So for the longest time, I thought the Neverland was actually the Neverland from Peter Pan. So when I was a teenager, I was rather surprised to figure out that they actually made the Peter Pan thing an actual country. An APC command thing. The staff are bringing an Uzi. Even though this is the Neverland Air Force logo, it reminds me a lot of the Czechoslovakian flag. What an ugly box. What an ugly tank. A pretty shitty supply heli. A not so shitty supply heli. Sure, sure, you can be a supply truck, AMX. Yeah. I guess you don't really need that many supply trucks when you have a very small country. I always saw genies at flamethrowers. Remember an infantry in European escalation actually had grenades? These guys like uh, fouls. So if Eugene kept releasing DLC nations for war game, we would have eventually got to the early 2000s. I have no real joke here. The name's just rather funny. I don't know why. That's a, that's a stinger. Yeast troopin do stoot. Yo, to be frank, stoot troopin sounds like something I'd leave in the toilet. Now you can shoot dragon to infantry. Woo! Still using Super Dragons in 1995. What a wonderful idea. Small artillery, medium artillery, pretty good medium artillery. To flag up and I mean a cheetah. Sorry I got confused here, the name change was rather chaotic. I guess right here is bloody power group. We got mortars in a car. Can you think of any other nation that has a mortar in a car? I think not. Mortar in an armored car. And a good old fashioned Gavin mortar. That's a big gun. That's an even bigger gun. You regular eye hawk. Pretty bloody good eye hawk. Like, damn. Lazy man eye hawk. No radar needed. See that? See that's in Gus Grove here? Yeah? Just make it fucking disappear. I like AMXs, so these are the cool units in my book. Also like Centaurians, but that might just be because of national bias. I'm not a big fan of Leopard Run, Joe. I'm, I'm sorry. Decentest Leopard Run. Now, it wouldn't be a minor power European nation without at least some sort of Leopard 2. Pretty good Leopard 2. And a very good Leopard 2. And Netherlands is a very good tank arsenal. When in the rest Germany Netherlands coalition, you just have an unstoppable tank force. An AMX recon tank. That's cool. Sign of what would become the recon tank meta. It's a dinky little recon helicopter. That's a Ren, a pretty meh. Cool combat troops. <laughs> Why would he even bring this? Sorry, uh, I can see myself bringing this show. It does look like something out of the future. This is what I want to see. Gavin recon vehicles. Now, yes. Yes, right here. It's perfection. Ooh! 25mm Gavin Recon Vehicle. Red for Eat Your Heart Out. I guess it's okay. Radar just looks pretty cool. What a prat. So that better stealth, considering it's covered in bloody leaves. A big bloody prat. The other Gavins, you got AMXs for your five point transport. Pretty neat. It's a five point truck. Okay, it is three machine guns on a five point transport, which is pretty OP. But it is slow as hell. And of course, a Gavin, which is always really cool. A recoilless rifle jeep. There's nothing really to say. A tow missile on a jeep. That's a tow missile on a jeep. It's a 10 point transport, it goes rather fast. An ugly, ugly box. An ugly box with a decent auto cannon. I'm pretty sure an avalanche will have a terrible air force lineup. I mean, we've got Hueys already. Okay, using bloody 1950s anti tank gun missiles on a. Like, what, a 1950s helicopter? Oh. Huh. Okay. An ugly a Lynx AH-7. And you just need your Apache to give close fire support. And another cheapest transport helicopter. Yeah. It's a Starfighter. Not too shabby for a cheapest close range interceptor. This right here is the real bloody deal. I'm gonna be able to bomb a lot of blocks of this thing. Probably five street blocks at least. And ten with this one. Okay, now we're getting a bit ambitious for 15 blocks with only 4 Maverick missiles. I mean, you're gonna have to blow up like what? An average of like 4, 3 blocks? Like, yeah, 4 blocks per Maverick missile. And really, a Maverick missile can only blow up one tank, so good luck blowing up that many street blocks. I think that's what it's for, anyway. It's so ugly, yet cute at the same time. A cheap cluster bomber. And a cheap napalm bomber. Now, before I end this video, I really wanna mention. If you think about it, how many games allow you to play as the Netherlands military? You can't play in Netherlands and still division. You can't even play in Netherlands in Gravity and Tactics Minus Front. You can't even play in Netherlands in Hearts of I Well, actually, I, I guess you can play in Netherlands in Hearts of But you can't play in Netherlands in Zombie Estate 2, and that really must mean that War Game Red Dragon has to be the greatest strategy game of all time, because it allows you to play as 
realm, the most orangest country in the world.